Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So here we are working on this uh, map container, right? So now let's try to implement the click functionality also. So for example, let's say if I click on this New York, I'm able to get to the New York thing. Now if I want to add another city of my own, if I click on here, I need to open the form. So right now we are opening the form, but here I need to catch the latitude and longitude of this form where, where the user has clicked. So we need to capture that one. How we can capture it? Let's try to see. So here, if you try to see here, this on click. So now for this map or leaflet map, so we should not write the on click for this one or, or else. So we should not write the on click like this map container also. So this is a little bit of different we need to write. So let's try to implement that different behavior. So for this one, what we need to do is we need to create again another custom component. So like function detect click. So I'll be writing it like this and here in this direct click we have a method something like use map events. So in this you can write all the events. The first one is the click event which we would be writing so here click event and this one takes a function. So you will be getting an uh, uh, e event and here I will be writing console.log of e. Now if you try to see the output for this one. So let's go back. And here I will be implementing refresh this page and if I go to the inspect element and let's go to the console. So now if I click on anywhere E here, so I'm not getting anything. Let's try to refresh this page. Okay. So here we have created a custom component and we need to add it here. So let's try to add it here. Detect click. That's it. Now if I refresh this page, <coughs> if I click here, so we are able to get an event. So here you'll be able to see all the event, whatever the things you are having. And here we are able to see the Latin latitude and longitude where the user has clicked on this one. So we need to capture this latitude and longitude. And next, what we need to do when the user click here, automatically we need to navigate to the add city form. So for this one, what we can do is, so here I can take the navigate, constant navigate is equal to use navigate. Okay. And here we can use something like uh, navigate of add city. That's it. So now if I click here, we are able to see that add city has been, uh, we have relocated, but we need to have a latitude and longitude for this one. So here we need to have a latitude and longitude. So how we can add this latitude and longitude. So here by the using the search params. So here I can add lat is equal to, so we can have it like this. Dollar of E dot lat long dot lat and and percent long so we'll try to see whether what is that we are we are uh, to get it in the console this is our object right lat lng yeah lng and here long is equal to e dot lat lng dot lng that's it now here we need to have a dollar why? Because we need to capturing it from the event. So now we got the lat longitude. Now if I click on this one somewhere here, so the map is moving and also we are able to get the latitude and longitude here. So this is how we will be detecting the click. So here, this is how we will be adding. So now if you go here and somewhere, if you click here, see here Nashville. So we are able to get this Nashville. So here you will be able to see the latitude longitude is also changing. So this is how we will be capturing the, now if I click here, Nevada. So we are able to get it. So detect click. This is how we will be uh, implementing the click event listener in the leaflet map. So another one before closing this one, we need to learn about, for example, let's say that he wants to get his current location. So how can I get it? How can I get his current location? So by we can use this navigation dot, uh, what I can say is geolocation dot get current position. We can use that navigator geolocation and we can get it. So let's try to implement that concept also. So for this one, what I will try to do is I will create a custom hook. So you, here we are having components, context hooks, right? So this is in the, this hooks, I will create a new one. That is nothing but use geo location dot JS. Here we will be having a, a <coughs> class. So here I'll be using export function, export function, use geo location. Okay. So this is our use geo location. And here I will be having a function get position so we will have a function get position sorry not like this get position get position 
so this is our method and this is our function also so in this function we need to have it so now for example let's say that so if you don't have anything uh, so if you don't have anything something like uh, what I can say is uh, if navigator.geolocation is not present then we will be writing something else so I will try to show you so now here I can write something like if not of sorry if not of navigator dot geolocation if geolocation is not present then I will try to set the error so here you will be having something like a constant error comma set error is equal to use state of empty okay and here I can use something like a return I will be written here but I will set the error to uh, geolocation is not supported by the browser okay so this is the cover. if it is supported means then I will try to get the navigator I will I will write simple thing geolocation dot get current position so here this is our current position now when it is success so you will be getting a function so here you will be having a function and you will get the position okay and when it is an error you will be getting an error and here you will be getting this error so these are the two things which you will be getting okay now here you will be having the position right so here we will be having latitude so constant constant latitude is equal to position dot coords dot latitude okay we will be getting it like this so yeah, I will show you here only so, navigator dot geolocation dot get current position okay so here you will be having a function and console dot log of e so we will try to do the position now if you try to see here we will be able to get a position here so we are getting a coordinates in this coordinates I am catching the latitude and longitude so this is how we will be catching it now we got the latitude in the same scenario I want to capture the longitude also constant longitude longitude is equal to position dot coarts dot longitude okay we got the latitude and longitude mm, now we got it okay so error we will be having and if you get any error so I will try to set the error uh, error dot message just I'll send I don't want to take too much so error dot message so we can have error dot code and depending on that code if permission is denied if the user doesn't error allow us and if it is unavailable and if the network is not available or if it is a timed out so you can catch all those things using the error dot code you can simply console the error you can able to find it all the details so just I am doing error dot message so we got this one but we need to set the position also so for that one what I will try to do is constant position comma set position is equal to use state of mm, empty and here constant we will have a loading also constant is loading comma set is loading is equal to use state of false the so first time it will be false so here we are having a position and set position and this is a constant so first time when it is uh, calling we will be get position uh, success these are all the things we are getting it right so here I will write set is loading of true so we will make it as a true and when we are getting it as a false so here I will write it as set is loading of false and here also I will do set is loading of false so I want to make it as a false and here also what I will try to do is and here we need we capture this latent and longitude and here uh, what we need to do is we need to save this one in the set position of and here we'll be having lat is equal to latitude okay and the long is equal to longitude sorry longitude and we got the set position so now at the final so whatever the things we are getting it so here so at the final oh, what is this happening yeah here so we need to return the hook, hook value so here this is our uh, method right so here I will return the position okay get position method we need to get it and the error we need to get it 
and also the ease loading so these are all the values we need to return it so this is our custom hook so which we are implementing and now we need to use this hook and we need to get the current position in this one in the next video we will try to do it so this is how we will be implementing the getting current location in the map so if the user if he wants to get his current location in the map means so this is the code we will be writing in the javascript using the navigator.geolocation.getCurrentPosition and I will commit this code in a new branch that is video-140 so whoever may be having doors if you want to refer this code you can refer this code so here uh, get current location <coughs> So if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.